today. Right. What? Say that. It's great. <laughs> Hi, class. How are you today? <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? My name is James. What's your name? <laughs> All right, class. The learning target for today is to <laughs> identify congruent triangles using S S S S A S A A S and A S A. We're going to be talking about what those mean in just a moment. Let's get started. All right. So, here we go. First, we're going to start with S S S. That stands for side, side, side. So that means in each of the triangles, all these sides are congruent. So one side congruent to one side, second side congruent to a second side, and a third side congruent to a third side. And what this means is, if you know that all three sides of a triangle are congruent to all three sides of another triangle, then the entire triangles are congruent to each other. So, if you have two triangles and all their sides are the same lengths as the other triangle, then you automatically know that the angles are also congruent as well because those triangles are congruent. Next we have side angle side. That's where you have a side congruent to another side and then an angle congruent to another angle and a second side congruent to a second side. The big part of this is that the angle has to be in between the two sides. So you look at the two sides that are congruent, it must be the angle that touches both of those sides. So if you have two sides that are congruent and the angle in between them is also congruent then we know that the entire triangles are congruent so if you have a side and another side congruent and the angle in between them congruent you know that the other angles are also congruent and the third side is also congruent because the entire triangle is congruent, and all you need to know is side, angle, side. Next is AAS, angle, angle, side. So if you have one angle congruent to another angle, and then a second angle congruent to a second angle, and then a side congruent to another side, then the entire triangles are congruent. So angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. That means the entire triangles are congruent. And all you need to know is angles congruent, another angles congruent, and a side's congruent. Then finally, angle side angle so that's where we have an angle congruent to another angle a side congruent to another side and a second angle congruent to a second angle Notice similarly with the side angle side, angle side angle has to be the side in between the two angles, the side that's touching both of these angles here. 
So, at least for now, these are the four... postulates that you need to know to be able to tell if two triangles are congruent to each other. Alright, now let's use some of this. So for this I want you to determine if the two triangles are congruent and how you know. State how you know that they are congruent. So we've got three different problems right here. One, two, three. First thing I want you to note is I am a terrible artist. I think you know this by now. So nothing is drawn to scale. Assume these are all straight lines and go from there. Most of geometry you have to assume nothing is drawn to scale anyway. You have to use only what's given to you, not the way things look. Anyway, so the first one, we look and we see we have a side here, and it's congruent to this side over here. This side is congruent to this side over here. So we have two sides marked. But that's all they gave us we need to know from this picture can we figure out anything else if anything else might be congruent well we have one side congruent to one side so that'll give us a side then second side can room to a second side so another side so we need one more thing well if you look here this side of this triangle is congruent to well this side of the other triangle because it's the same side so we have a third side congruent so side 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 and of course the answer is yes so yes because it's side 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 now let's go to the next one. Again, we have side congruent to another side. Then let's look to see if the angle in between these two sides are congruent because we know this side is congruent to this side but either it's going to be another side is congruent or the angle in between so let's look at the angle in between first so this angle and this angle are formed by these two sides intersecting each other well, that means these two are vertical angles. Therefore, they're congruent. So we've got an angle, and then this side is congruent to this side, so we have a side as well. So side, angle, side. So, yes. And then, finally, this one over here. We have an angle congruent to another angle. And then they give us a right angle. And that's all they give us. So we need to know, is it congruent and how? So we've got an angle congruent, so I can at least write that part. Angle. Then we've got this right angle here. Well, if we know this angle is a right angle, this angle over here makes a ninety makes a line, so that means it's one eighty minus ninety, which is also ninety. So this side over here is also a right angle, so that means those two are congruent. So I can put another angle. Then we have a side congruent to itself. 
because this side is shared by both triangles. So we have a side. Angle, angle, side. Yes. So a lot of what you'll be doing next class is looking at different triangles and trying to tell whether or not the triangles are congruent and how you know that they're congruent, whether it's side, 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 angle, side, angle, angle, side, or angle, side, angle. All right, so here's one more type of example we'll be dealing with. So here it says, state the parts of each triangle that need to be congruent to satisfy congruence by ASA. So we're looking at a triangle here, two triangles, and we want to know in order for these triangles to satisfy congruence by angle side angle, so for them to be congruent because of angle side angle, what other parts need to be congruent to each other? So let's start out by looking at what parts are congruent to each other. We know that AC is congruent to CE. Okay? We also know because uh, these angles, angle DCE is congruent to angle ACB. Those two angles are made by DB and AE intersecting, so that means these two angles are congruent. So we know ACB and DCE are congruent. So we have an angle that's congruent, and we have a side that's congruent. So an angle and a side, we need a third angle. And it has to be the other angle that is touching the side in the middle. So if an angle here and a side here, the other angle this side is touching is this one right here, angle E. And over here, we know this angle and this angle, the other one that this side is touching is angle A. So, for this to be true, angle A has to be congruent to angle E. And if that was true, then these two triangles would be congruent because of ASA. Alright, that's it for this lesson today. Once again, please make sure to take notes on the entire lesson, and right now, take a picture of your notes and submit them to eBackpack. Have a good night!